we would send out a reporter every night and every night they would come back with at least eight dead bodies, videos, every night. became the bastion of press freedom in Asia, not just in Asia, but uh, throughout the world right now. She has become an inspiration. Rappler has become an inspiration to a lot of journalists who are just trying to uh, do, do good by their profession. Rappler filled a space in the Philippines I think a lot of us didn't foresee beforehand um, in that um, they put a, uh, a deeper lens onto a lot of stories that you thought were well covered until Rappler got there and showed that there was actually much more um, um, to the story um, than previously realized. No qualms about killing killers. Yes, of course. I, 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 I must admit that I have killed. The Philippine police began playing with the numbers. You know, they were reporting up to 7,000 people killed. And then all of a sudden, come October or November 2016, they roll it back to a little over 2,000. The government wanted all the news groups to follow their official numbers. And they leaned on everyone to do that. And the fact that Rappler refused to do it was a source of annoyance uh, that grew into anger. Rappler is very important because it is doing a great job in covering the Philippines, and that's precisely why it's in trouble. You just need to keep showing that, telling our people that if you don't protect your rights, you will lose them.